of saying this, but we are in Siberia and we are on Lake Baikal, the oldest and deepest lake in the world. And today we're going to head out on a boat tour to explore a little bit. We just came off the speedboat. We're going to make some stops um, and see some of the main sites along the lake. I'm pretty sure that's where the Siberian bears are hiding. I'm not sure if I want to go into this tunnel. <laughs> The railway tracks you can see behind me are from the Circum Baikal Railway. They are the old part of the Trans-Siberian. The Trans-Siberian used to run really through this village and then for a big part around the Baikal Lake. I think about 30-40 years ago they made a new railroad because it was more convenient, easier and faster access to, uh, to other parts of Russia. All these tracks were built uh, in the 40s or in the 30s and they used a lot of dynamite. For one kilometer of railway road they used one train wagon of dynamite and there were 84 kilometers of railway so you can imagine how much dynamite just went into this. And the problem with the terrain was actually something that they experienced when building a Trans-Siberian railway really all across Russia because Russia is very mountainous, very rough terrain and the workers who built the railway only had like axes um, and stuff like that, very basic manual machinery. Must have been quite a feat in those days. Today we are taking a five hour speed boat trip across Lake Baikal right here. Um, yeah, we thought we would uh, take a tour here and uh, experience the lake from really on the lake uh, instead of just being beside the lake and watching it from the shore. And this gives us a real good opportunity to experience some of the sites that are not really accessible by land or by car or by foot. They even have English speaking guides here. I mean, almost nobody knows to speak English except for in Siberia. Everybody seems to be speaking English. <laughs> Back onto our floating home we go to the next stop. come to another stop on our route here today and uh, it's really really beautiful here we're just taking a walk along the tracks so showing us some tunnels there's two beautiful bridges here and uh, yeah I think it's going to be amazing we're going to try and get a drone out see if we can get some beautiful drone shots it's just so green here it's like really yeah like you're in the middle of nature this is not reachable by car or by foot I think it's really worth it. It's really worth it to take a five hour version, yeah. not a three hour version of this tour because three hour version just takes you to the small island. The first one where you went, you have a swim in the lake and then you head back. But take the five hour version and you come here, get to walk across the train tracks um, with the beautiful water right beside you, right on the lake shore. Yeah, you get to see. Surrounded by beautiful nature, nice lagoon here. And you can have a quick lunch on the lake shore. We're going to head into a small village here. Um, and it's starting to look a lot more Siberian because when we were in Irkutsk I was actually surprised by how super developed and even a little bit Disneyland-ish that was at times. Yeah. This is the real Siberia. No bears ah. yet though, still no bears. I'm waiting for a bear to put the bear in Siberia. So we just stopped for a quick lunch in the village. We're going to have some soup and then something with mashed potato and some meat. So I'm going to enjoy this with a nice view. I am about as big as those wheels. <laughs> That's crazy. The weather has taken a turn for the worse. We have come to the Chaman restaurant right here. It's a traditional Russian or even Siberian restaurant. They serve some local specialties and they have some very loud music. I just stop, but we'll continue in a minute. It's a bit like a disco, dance bar. Oh, it's just a restaurant. Anyway, uh, we just ordered omul, which is the local specialty. Um, it's a fish that's only here in Lake Baikal. It's related to the salmon species, but for millions of years it evolved into some other species or something like that. Anyway, we're going to eat it. Uh, it's a grilled fish. We have some uh, grilled potatoes with it with lots of sour cream. It's almost sour cream with potatoes, but who minds? I mean, that's how we like it. you never have too much sauce in life. 
Let's dig in. Mm. Ding. The machine it says ping. That's pretty good. Tastes a bit like salmon. To be honest, not that special. Nothing like I've ever tasted before, but it's a pretty good fish. So this disco slash restaurant is actually supposed to be one of the best um, in all of Lisfianca, which is where we are now <coughs> on the shores of Lake Baikal. But indeed, the weather has taken a turn for the worse. It has gone from very sunny to extremely crappy. So we're camping up in here. We have some mops, which is like cranberry juice, very nice. We have a little fish, we have our potatoes. We can try a potato. They're like barbecued or smoked or something. They're actually really good. I think I may even like those better than the fish. Now it's time for a cappuccino and some desserts. I have an apple pastry with cinnamon. It smells just like Christmas. <laughs> to be honest, I know it's going to be good because I already had it two days ago. Oh yeah. It's just simply amazing. <laughs> the sugar powder on the People are going to think I'm Colombian. It certainly feels more Siberian now that it's a bit cold, a bit wet. I have to stay inside, warm up with some puppies, some puff, puff trees, pastries, pastries, pastries. Next on the list, vodka. And that concludes our time in Lake Baikal and Irkutsk. We just boarded the Trans-Siberian again in Irkutsk for a seven hour journey all the way to Ulan Uda, which is a border town to cross into Mongolia. It will be a seven hour ride. If you're interested to see what it's like, because we are traveling in third class, we heard some horror stories and we thought, let's check it out for ourselves. And so if you want to see what that's like, go check out the next video. If you enjoyed our video from Siberia on Lake Baikal, please give it a like, thumbs up and leave a comment. If you want to follow our journey where we travel from Belgium all the way to Beijing and China through Russia and Mongolia uh, over land without taking any flights, please subscribe for more. In spite of the crappy weather yesterday, we still managed to have a pretty good time. It was also interesting seeing Lake Baikal both on a very good sunny day and on a foggy, rainy, all in all pretty crappy day. Now we're moving on to Ulan Ude, um, which is a bit further south, so maybe the weather will be better as we are approaching Mongolia. Um, and we're on to our final few days in Russia, actually, because our visas expire in like three days. So attempt to make our way south and head into the final stretch of the Russian journey and then into Mongolia. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.